What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So we've been getting a lot of requests on day trading and how to get past that pesky uh, PDT rule. So what the PDT rule is, it allows you to only place three day trades, whether it be options or stocks, uh, shares, um, within a five trading day period. And this hinders a lot of day traders because you can't place that many trades and you have to wait uh, quite a while before you place your next day trade. Um, so there are ways to get around this and I'll be giving five tips, five ways to get around the PDT rule and you can take these into consideration. So obviously the first one, it's gonna be depositing at least 25K into your account. Um, and obviously this is not gonna be an option for most people, but the easiest way to get rid of the PDT rule is to, in fact, have at least $25,000 into your brokerage account and you will be able to have unlimited day trades in your margin account. Um, so the next way would be converting your account to a cash account. You could either do this by um, converting your margin account to a cash account. Uh, Robinhood allows this. You just have to contact support to do that. Or another easy way to do that would be to open up a brokerage that has a cash account already in it. Um, and Webull is a great platform for this. They have a cash account where you can trade options. Um, and the best part is you can do unlimited day trades in this account. Um, but the downside to a cash account is you do have to wait a day or so for your funds to settle before you can use those uh, that cash again uh, once you sell a position. Uh, so say you have um, $1,000, you make five day trades for $200 each. Uh, you can use all that money to day trade, but once you run out of that money and you start selling your position, you have to wait like a day for the funds to settle, just like any other regular brokerage account. Um, and the third way, the third tip would be to convert your naked calls or puts into a spread. So for example, here we're on the Apple options chain list. Let's say we have a $128 strike call for Apple uh, expiring next week, just an example. And we are out of day trades. We're in a margin account. We've used all three of our day trades and we want to uh, take profits or exit our position. Uh, this will help minimize the risk and take profits off the table. So say you bought this contract when it was only $70 and now it's $140. What we can do is we can sell uh, the call above it. So the 129 strike call for $96. And what this is going to do, it's going to convert your position into a debit spread. So we're going to be collecting $96 of premium for selling that call. And, and then we're going to be converting this position into a two option order. Uh, and we are going to be minimizing our risk. And now instead of being able to lose $140 overnight, the max we can lose would be um, around $44, right here, $44. That's the max we can lose now instead of the 140. So it's taking profits off the table and it's minimizing our risk, which is pretty good. Um, that's one of my favorite strategies I used to do before I had uh, before I had 25k in my account uh, and I highly recommend this strategy to everyone who want to trade in a margin account and then the fourth option would be to open up multiple brokerage accounts so you can day trade three times within five day trading period um, per account so if you open up multiple accounts say TD Ameritrade uh, Charles Schwab here Fidelity you're gonna be getting 15 additional day trade or uh, Sorry, we're going to be getting nine additional day trades for the five day trading day period. Uh, if we have three brokerage accounts, if we have four, like with Robinhood, we get 12 day trades. And if we have Webull, uh, obviously that's a cash account. And we're going to be having unlimited there. But per, per brokerage account we have, we can day trade in that. And this is one way that a lot of people have been able to get past the PDT rule. And the fifth one is more of a tip but it is to consider swing trading. Day trading isn't for everyone. A lot of people lose money. It's pretty risky. Uh, and swing trading is a lot safer for most people uh, needs. Um, and I highly recommend swing trading if you are just starting out. Day trading can get pretty risky. It's very emotional. 
and overall it's not for everyone uh, so those are my five tips for getting past the PGT rule. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you have a comment for any other videos you want to see, uh, please leave a comment down below for any suggestions. Um, and of course, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.